We would like to welcome you to the ceremony of signing of the MOU to conduct cooperation and training activities in the field of geospace information at the Department of Foreign Affairs with the presence of the National Institute for Statistics and Geography. To begin, I would like to give the floor to Ambassador Gustavo Alonso Cabrera. Thank you very much. Um, with your permission, Mr. Secretary, President of INEGI, our Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Merrick Brown, welcome, Director of the Campus of West Indian University and the friends of the Department of Mexico. Today, we confirm that in the Latin American continent and the Caribbean, we are one region. The creation of the Latin American and Caribbean Agency of Space works along these lines. During the prior dialogues to the drafting and signing of the executive agreement for the creation of the agency, we agreed to study the different fields that we would privilege and complement the initiatives bilaterally speaking that all of our countries were already carrying out. In the last decade, we have made significant progress in different sectors of society, especially in order to move forward in terms of building a better society that seeks to promote sustainable development and all things regarding our collective projects. One of the points of these agreements and the creation of the base document was the Pacific use of extraterrestrial space, and that must be a point to make for all Latin American and Caribbean countries. I would like to mention and recognize the professional work from different organizations and mechanisms from the region have carried out through the leadership of Efrain Rama that led to the creation of this agency. A few months after the signing into creation by our Secretary Marcelo Ebrard, this is becoming a reality. This has been significant progress made between the countries of Latin America and Caribbean. The creation of the constellation of satellites of the state. One year after the creation of ALSE, there is evidence of concrete results. We have carried out different round tables with our member states, and we have significantly contributed in terms of technological transfer. Given these real facts, we have created small scale nano satellites within an ecosystem or network of optics satellites specializing in environmental and hydrometeorological fields. As a relevant point to make, we also have the formal offer of the Italian Space Agency to bring to the region free of cost a design, financing, construction, and launching of the first nanosatellite from our region. We have moved forward in the strengthening of having these networks of data as a priority in our region. The coordination of public-private partnerships and the promotion of technology among new generations with a pedagogical and creative perspective. The agreement, the MOU signed today is part of all of these efforts. That is why all of you members of this agency will keep being part of these priority projects. This is a success for our region. 
through the signing of this MOU and a success to the traditional geospace-based diplomacy led by all of our countries. Thank you, Ambassador Cabrera. Now I would like to give the floor to Dr. Javier Davila Torres. Good morning, everyone. Colleagues from the Department of Foreign Affairs, I'd like to greet our colleagues from Trinidad and Tobago as well. The presidents, the presence of um, Amexi is found in the organic structure of our Department of Foreign Affairs and has a participation that is binding and quite relevant in terms of the laws on international cooperation, which is the backbone to be able to develop bilateral or multilateral projects, in many occasions, South-South cooperation, among others. Based on what Mr. Cardenas was mentioning, I would like to point out that through the initiative of our Secretary of Rad on November 2019, we created the Technical Council on Innovation as part of MXC. This is relevant in terms of finding all possibilities for development and exchange and co international cooperation in the field of the fields of technology, innovation, knowledge, among others. In this field in particular, Secretary O'Brien invited several people to accompany him in two different international tours, where one of the transcendental topics was the airspace agencies in matters of collaboration with the Indian Geospace Agency, we will be having signing an agreement on observation data for Earth in term regarding forest fires, for example. Later on this year, we will hand over the application for the monitoring of forest fires to our national forest coordination. On June 29th, we held the fourth meeting on co political consultations through the leadership of Deputy Secretary Moreno regarding the monitoring of agriculture evaluation of droughts. These are but a few examples that are very basic regarding this cooperation that we have with India. When it comes to Korea, we received a request from their agency and we considered creating a workshop with 10 Korean experts on June 29th and 30th. That covers the fields covered by the Latin American and Caribbean Space Agency. On July 5th, through the promotion led by Mr. Ebrard to this entire movement, we signed an MOU with the Korean Space Agency in Korea with the National Polytechnical Institute, meaning that we have many activities going on and that jointly represent our type of international co cooperation based on our national laws and that will lead us to further develop within our Department of Foreign Affairs, led by Secretary Ebrard. Now we are seeing the fruits of the creation of the Latin American and Caribbean Space Agency. It, will, it is exciting to see how we are moving forward and to see the relevant participation from academia and, and the scientific sector and INEGI among others. Thank you so much. And Dr. Brian Copeland from the University of the West Indies, you have the floor.
Honorable Dr. Amy Brown, Minister of Foreign Affairs for the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Witness of Honor, Excellency Ambassador Victor Hugo Morales Melendez, Dr. Graciela Marquez Colin, President of the National Institute of Statistics and Geography of Mexico. Um, I believe Dr. Bisham Ramalad is represented by uh, Dr. Michael Sutherland from the Department of Geomatics, um, Geomatics, Geoinformatics, Geomatics and Cartography um, here at the University of the West Indies. Members of the Embassy of Mexico, all of colleagues, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning. I'm honored to be here today to sign what I consider to be a, uh, a very historic agreement, the establishment of Digital Earth Caribbean. This morning, we will formally agree to cooperate and to train in the field of geospatial information to prepare ourselves for the future operation of the Latin America and Caribbean Space Agency. As a serious sci-fi fan, I'm personally excited about the immense possibilities and the opportunities. Digital Earth, or the Caribbean for short, will operate like the Africa, providing a routine, reliable service and using Earth observations to deliver decision-ready products that would, in turn, enable policymakers, scientists, private sector, and civil society to address social, environmental, and economic changes in the region while developing an ecosystem for innovation across sectors. Through this collaborative initiative, we will strengthen geospatial capacities in Central America and the Caribbean in the framework of the community of Latin American and Caribbean states. The St. Augustine campus community, and in particular, the Department of Geomatics and the Faculty of Engineering are delighted that this facility is to be located here, offering geospatial support to the Caribbean region based on the use of satellite imagery. Through this memorandum of understanding, we will be able to purchase a very high capacity computer server, which can store extensive amounts of Earth observation data. Further, as implementing agency, the UE will host training for some 80 regional participants. UE staff and students from all five campuses and government organizations will form this initial effort, this initial cohort, I'm sorry. As a result, the UE is poised and ready to be a significant geospatial, geospatial inter intermediary to national mapping organizations, research institutions, NGOs, and other stakeholders. We expect that through the Caribbean, the region will be able to address many critical issues, such as land use and change, disaster risk reduction, monitoring of water bodies, urban growth, sustainable development, and any other cooperation activities of mutual interest. So on behalf of the University of the West Indies, I wish to express my thanks to the government of Mexico and to its National Institute for Geography and Statistics, as well as UN GGIM Americas for their collaboration. Be assured that the UE is committed to working closely with all parties to achieve our mutual object objectives. I'm aware that today's signing is a combination of a series of discussions involving many parties. But our very presence here is testimony to a shared vision and determination to make this happen. My congratulations to everyone involved in this process. Allow me also to express my personal thanks for this timely conclusion, which allows me to be here to sign on the, uh, uh, on the start of the Digital Earth Caribbean Space Adventure. I have no doubt that this first step is the start of something big and far reaching for all of us in this hemisphere. I thank you and good morning. Thank you so much. I would like to give the floor to Dr. Graciela Marquez, President of the National Institute for Statistics and Geography. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to greet Marcelo Rakasawan, Secretary of Foreign Affairs of Mexico, Merrick Brown, Secretary of Foreign Affairs 
from CARICOM and Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Copeland, Vice Dean and Director, and Paloma Merodio, Vice President of INEGI, Javier Davila, Director for uh, International Cooperation and Development, and Efraín Guadarrama, Director General of Organizations and Latin American Mechanisms, as well as Alonso Cabrera, Representative of Mexico at the Space Agency, Latin American and Caribbean Space Agency. Dear colleagues, in the last 25 years, geospace information has become a powerful tool for decision making in the public and private spheres. To respond adequately to this trend, the national offices of statistics around the globe have developed techniques, methodologies, and standards for the production and dissemination of geospace information. INEGI has not been the exception. Our institution takes advantage of the fact that it is, it is at the same time responsible for statistical information and geographical information. This characteristic has allowed our very experienced collaborators to develop innovative projects. Vice President Merodio, who is with us here today, has been a promoter of the Geospace Data Cube, among other initiatives. Just like in other Vanguard processes, our Geospace Information System benefits enormously from international cooperation. It is not only possible to develop technological and knowledge information, but through the cooperation among country, we improve integration and interoperability of the systems and platforms that deal with geospace information. From there, we, there stems the relevance of the signing of this document, the collaboration between government institutions, the academic sector at a national and international level are a lever to move forward in terms of geospace information use. Without a doubt, the collaboration that becomes concrete today is one is added to the efforts of INEGI in the region in the field of the United Nations in terms of the use of geospace information in the Americas. I am sure that upon the signing of this MOU to develop activities to conduct cooperation and training activities in the field of geospace information, we will be promoting the technological development of our region and we will contribute to the development and sustainability agendas of the region. Actions that are carried out jointly between INEGI and the Department of Foreign Affairs and the University of the West Indies. Before concluding, I would like to reiterate INEGI's commitment with international cooperation to promote our global development agenda. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Marquez. Now from Trinidad and Tobago, I would like to give the floor to the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. You have the floor, sir. Thank you very much. Your Excellency Marcelo Ebrard Casoban, Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the United Mexican States, Dr. Graciela Marquez Colin, President of the National Institute of Statistics and Geography of the United Mexican States, Professor Brian Copeland, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the St. Augustine Campus of the University of the West Indies, specially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to each and every one of you. It is my distinct pleasure to be a witness of honor at today's virtual signing ceremony of a memorandum of understanding between the government of the United Mexican States and the University of the West Indies 
in preparation for the future operation of the Latin America and Caribbean Space Agency. I am deeply appreciative of this collaboration between Mexico and our University of the West Indies to enhance technical cooperation and training in the area of geospatial information and initiat an initiative which will no doubt contribute to the strengthening of the long-standing partnership between Trinidad and Tobago and Mexico. Trinidad and Tobago has enjoyed friendly relations with Mexico since our diplomatic ties were established 56 years ago on the 29th of April, 1966. The government of Mexico subsequently established a resident mission in Port of Spain in 1981, which was temporarily closed in 1986, but thankfully was reopened in 1995. In 1998, our two countries signed a basic agreement for technical and scientific cooperation. The many cooperation projects and training opportunities generated by this agreement testify to the commitment of our two nations to deepening and extending bilateral engagement in areas which are of mutual interest to both states. Allow me the opportunity to highlight that each year, the government of Mexico offers a number of scholarships for Trinidad and Tobago citizens to pursue postgraduate studies, research, and short-term language training in Mexico. The government of Mexico has also offered training programs for Trinidad and Tobago's diplomats. Now, with the signing of this MOU, it is expected that various cooperation activities will be executed that would contribute to the promotion of access, preparation, management, and use of geospatial data with the aim of promoting capacity building. I should also highlight that this initiative could be of mutual benefit to Trinidad and Tobago and Mexico in key areas such as vegetation, phenology, land use and change, disaster risk reduction, monitoring of water bodies, urban growth, and other cooperation activities of mutual interest that may be determined by the government of Mexico and the University of the West Indies. From an economic standpoint, the trade relationship between our two states is a robust one, and the number of Trinidad and Tobago's private sector companies have strong business relationships with companies in Mexico. It would serve us well to consider these types of opportunities when we evaluate the possible outcomes of the initiatives and activities under this proposed memorandum of understanding. To this end, Trinidad and Tobago greatly values its relationship with Mexico, which it considers to be a very reliable hemispheric partner. Today's event is yet another demonstration of the strong friendship between the two countries, and I am therefore pleased to bear witness to the formal signing of this undertaking between the government of Mexico and the University of the West Indies. Please allow me on behalf of the government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to express our unwavering support for the continued efforts by the government of Mexico to develop cooperation and technical expertise with key stakeholders in Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Amri. Now, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs from Mexico, Marcelo Ebrard Casa.
participants. I would like to especially thank the presidents, the presence of the president of INEHI and Mr. Emery. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday from the Mexican government. I would just like to say that we're very happy to be here today for three re reasons, and I'll be very brief. The first one, this is due to a decision made by the countries of the LAC region in January 2020. At that time, we said, we're going to get organized to be present in space because it's, it interests us, it has a daily impact in our activities, and because we want to be present in terms of all development associated to space. So we agreed on that, like I said, in January 2020. It is now July 2022, and in spite of the pandemic, we have concrete results something that has characterized and does and that has not always characterized all the meetings that we're at. But right now we can say that this is happening because the Latin American and Caribbean Space Agency is the fruit of these um, nations that have come together to work together. And so now we have this concrete result that has to do with the with our uh, peoples. This center that is now initiating its operations in the University of Saint of the West Indies will allow us to get to another level of cooperation with the region to better protect our peoples in terms of climate change, which will become graver. And the Caribbean has said so, had stated so in all international fora we have been at. So this is one more tool to support you in terms of organization, prevention, and being better informed. And third, I am very pleased because this agency has now become a reality and it shows that we are indeed doing things with our community of Latin American and Caribbean state destined to cooperation for the purposes of cooperation, meaning that cooperation becomes the main channel for doing things in our region. So I want to thank once again, the National Institute for Statistics and Geography, their president and vice president, the efforts made by all of the people involved, and of course, Trinidad and Tobago and the university. Thank you so much to the university for your interest in participating in this project. Thank you, Secretary. We will now sign the Memorandum of Understanding. We would like to ask Secretary Brad and Graciela Colina and Mr. Brown and Mr. Copeland to let us take an official picture.
We would like to ask Secretary Emery Brown to show his uh, document so that we can take a picture, please. Thank you so much, everyone. We hope now to see this ceremony. Thank you for being with us today.